Yes guys, what is up? Good morning. Welcome from the inside of my Lamborghini. It is very early and it is peaceful and quiet outside. I've just jumped in and I'm feeling very sorry for my neighbours. But today is Fuel Fest UK. One of the biggest events in America is coming to the UK and more specifically coming to Essex. So today I'm going to be doing around 100 miles on my Lamborghini but I'm not going to be going alone. I'm actually going with Zach who you all well know. He came to collect the Lamborghini Murcielago with me from VVS. He's been my best friend for years. We started Supercars of London together but the most ridiculous thing is I've seen him two or three times in the last six months or so. This car got wrapped and had the new exhaust done in March 2019. He still hasn't seen or heard this car and today we go through two tunnels so this is going to be a best friends react a fuel fest uk and potentially talk a little bit about what is coming up for this car so onwards to the train station i'm very sorry neighbors <laughs> ah, ah, ah. i'm nervous i'm nervous i'm nervous course mode Right, here comes Zach. Zach is a little bit fragile. I think he's a little bit hungover. <laughs> he's got a bottle of water with him as well. <laughs> and sunglasses on, so he probably won't be able to see too much. Do you know how long I've had to keep the car running here? No. At least 10 minutes. Really? I've just been polluting everyone's ears. <laughs> how are we? Hung over like half yeah. the time. First time I've seen the colour, it looked cool. First time you've seen the colour, yeah. which therefore means first time you've heard it as well. Yeah. I wanted to kind of leave it. I could hear it from the train. Really? Yeah, as I got off the train, I knew where you were. <laughs> oh, there's cameras on. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a YouTuber. Ah! God, it's noisy. Okay, yeah, that's... They're pretty aggressive. stuck in a little bit of traffic or you actually have to take into other tunnel goers <laughs> ears into consideration really? because it's yeah it's so loud quite scared you'll see what i mean by how you have to take into consideration everyone else in the tunnel i'm really hung over i'll do first gear Next. You have to be really careful. <laughs> <laughs> I 
thing with the cameras is these guys have heard it numerous times because it's the party piece of the Mercia Lago is the sound. So I like live in tunnels on the videos. But when you're actually sat in the car, it's like, because I watch the videos back because I'm like, oh, it does sound really cool. But then when you're actually there and it's actually going through your ear hairs. Oh God. It's pretty brutal. I don't know how to, it's like lightning. It's like uh, if lightning had a noise, like. Uh, uh, okay. It yeah. would just be like loud, yeah. sharp, high pitched. Yeah, that's quite I've heard that before. If lightning had a noise, it would be the fab speed exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> the Lambo is parked there. Got a lovely 458 R8 V10 Plus. You can tell that this is Fast and the Furious style because you've got helicopters cruising around up there. And then in there, is fuel fest it looks like it's on a golf course uh, we've got some gtrs here and the michelin porsche this has been wrapped by yanni and i think it looks really really cool did you ever see my c63 wrapped yeah in didn't the michelin like, stuff di didn't like it oh controversial yeah, i didn't like it controversial this yeah. is really really smart i love the blue and the yellow together i think this it looks cool. i like the the, the the color of the blue is nice yeah this is nice yeah this is a bit of a beast actually carbon wing Love the colour and the tints. Oh, satin black. Yeah, that is blacked out. There is a lot of music being played from a lot of stands, a lot of revving going on, so I have no idea how this audio is going to sound. But we have found the Wrench Studios stand, and they've got probably the most ridiculous cars here. So I drove that Liberty Walk M4 CS over there. It's the most ridiculous thing. But we'll do a quick lap of the cars that they've got here, because this, this is where the most yeah. ridiculous cars are. So, some good, some good specs. This is like Need for Speed. That is beast. That is Road beast. Right yeah, so we've got satin black AMG GTR, beautiful Audi R8 V10 over there, GT2 RS in like a dark purple with gold wheels. I'm pretty sure this is Vorsteiner. Vorsteiner Hurricane, which is pretty ridiculous. This R8 is lovely. Guess Not what? what? Love that. <laughs> That's sick, I love that colour. RS6, Aventador S, that is cool. That's very cool. Baby blue, full baby blue interior. Satin chrome blue, Aventador S. This mini sitting on the floor in a rustic look. We've got Mr. Air Shroud here. How's it going? Very well, we're good. Good, how are you? Good, man. So, uh, we're, are we on your stand? Yeah, we were here with Hexis. Oh, okay. No so, wonder you've got some crazy wrapped cars then. Yes. I was coming over to have a look at that chrome purple i8 road Yeah, I know, there. which has got my I'm... old wheels from my old i8. That's actually, yeah, exactly. it looks smart, but yeah. like, yeah, everything here is wrapped crazy. Have you seen this interior? Carbon Alcantara quilted. This is mental. Everything here is mental. Apart from that, which isn't wrapped, all of the wrapped stuff is pretty ridiculous. I'm going to go and have a look at this IA and I'll come back and find you in a minute. That's Mr. Air Shroud who gave me my car cover for my Mercia Lago and keeps it safe. <laughs> IA Roadster. I think that's cool. And also that is very cool. I love that colour on the 720S. Satin black bonnet. Oh, those wheels. What are you looking at? This is, um, it's like in that, um, that, was, this is going to go forever. Yeah, you're hungover. I'm a big fan of this 720S. Baby blue pinstripes, carbon everywhere. Those wheels are sick. Interesting to go with the red brake calipers and the red interior. But I love it. And I think round the back as well, satin black. Possibly my favourite car of the show, this. That was a relatively fleeting visit. We only needed to pop there for 60 minutes or so, managed to see some pretty cool cars. I was amazed at the diversity and variety because you saw like some nuts modified cars next to some of the most ridiculous supercars. And we ended up chatting to a bunch of people that had been there all day. And it was the modified scene that was getting all of the attention. The supercars were parked up and no one was really like no looking at them. No so I was kind of glad that I just parked my car and tucked it away, hid it and, ooh. 
Ford. It's a bold spec. Yeah. No, it's a cool event. Yeah, you got miles around. We've made it. It's weird that. It goes through like a choir. And then all of a sudden it just goes nuts. so many messages, so many comments about these new noise cameras that are potentially going to get put in place in London. And I was like, I really want to make a video on it and this is the perfect opportunity. You're hearing my car for the first time. We've got a day out going to Fuel Fest and then a bloody eye pace drives past, which is completely dead silent. So basically, for those that don't know, noise pollution has been the thing in Mayfair and Knightsbridge for quite a long time during the summer. What noise cameras will do is well, they'll be triggered when a car goes over a certain decibel reading. But the decibel reading is so low, it's 74 decibels. I reckon a double-decker bus makes that much noise. I think motorbikes, I think double-decker buses, I think the majority of London traffic is 74 decibels. Just the, the London hub. <laughs> yeah. 74 decibels. But, obviously, these cameras, if they get triggered every single time at 74 decibels, it's going to be fairly ridiculous how many pictures it's going to take. This car was filmed and sound recorded for a new computer game. So it got taken away, all of the engine noises were recorded, so the air intake, the revolutions, the exhaust system, everything was sound recorded. They also did decibel readings on this car. 74 decibels is what would trigger the noise pollution camera in London. Guess what mine was? 117. 117 was around my Army Tricks RA. My Gallardo was around 125. This was reading above 137. <laughs> Almost double. Almost double. Almost double what a noise camera is going to pick up, but 142 decibels, so about five more than mine, your visibility will start to get worse because your eyeballs are vibrating. <laughs> I think it's around 132 decibels you'll have permanent hear loss after a while. Really? Yeah. So, this car being over 135 decibels. Also, this car's louder than an Aston Martin Vulcan. That's pretty special. Yeah. So, this Lamborghini, straight piped, is louder than my Gallardo, which was probably the loudest car in Europe, the loudest Lambo in Europe at the time. This is louder than that, and it's louder than an Aston Martin Vulcan. My Lamborghini, safe to say, is banned from London. I think it's banned from everywhere. No, it actually is. <laughs> I'm not joking. The emissions that this car puts out from being 10 years ago, Lamborghini V12, it falls into a, an emissions category that in European cities like Munich, it's not allowed in. I remember reading in a magazine, probably Top Gear magazine or Evo, that there was a, had a, a, a section that said the most unhealthy car for the environment in the world is a V12 Lamborghini Merchant Lark LP640. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah. It was the most unhealthy car ever made at that point. And I'm straight by this. Yeah, so there is, and that was, a, yeah, with the catalytic. Right, yeah. So there's, this is. That's actually quite frightening. Yeah. So not only is it oh, noise I thought, pollution, so it I thought, is. I thought, I, thought, <laughs> I thought this conversation was quite funny that, oh, my car's banned from London, but actually it is single-handedly killing the environment. Maybe I get an eye piece. Okay, what we've learned is that I'm banned from most European cities in this car. I'm 
gonna definitely be banned from London just from a noise perspective. And I'm also really killing the environment with just this car. I need to sort this out. But we had a good day at Fuel Fest. We did have a good day. So, pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tunnel coming up, so. <laughs> Is there actually? No. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, down drift. Um, but yeah. There we go, that is Zach's first impression of the Fab Speed Lamborghini. You got to hear it through a tunnel, through an underpass, you got to hear it under load, just out in the open. Care to summarise in one word? I, th I think the, if lightning had a noise. Yeah, okay, that's a pretty good definition of it. If lightning made a noise, it would sound like this. Bang on. And you're hungover, so that's pretty good coming yeah. from you. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little mix mash of everything that we've been talking about, gone to Fuel Fest, and also going through a few tunnels as well. But it's nice to get the Lambo out when the weather's as good as it is. We're currently coming up to 20,000 miles in this car and also 12 months of ownership. So stay tuned for a lot of videos coming on the Lamborghini Murcielago, as well as paint updates. Because as this video goes live, I might have had the final concluding conversation, which will book this car in for its paint job. Pretty exciting times. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>